Uh, the next one we'll look at is the rosé. So the Nero Davila rosé. Um, Nero Davila is probably the most widely planted Italian grape variety in Australia outside of maybe Sangiovese. Um, because again, it's really, really well suited to the climate that we have in Australia. It's the, you know, the classic grape of Southern Sicily. Um, and Southern Sicily and Sicily in general and South Australia have a really similar climate, very hot, very dry, very low rainfall. Um, so varieties like Nero Davila th really come to the fore where it's hot and dry. Um, this year, as I mentioned in the earlier video, we had a very, very hot growing season and in particular during spring. And whilst other varieties really suffered, the Nero Davila was a, a beacon of health and vitality. So um, we love working with this variety. We use it in as many wines as we can um, and really try and champion, I suppose, its versatility using it in the rosé. Um, it's again I think the perfect variety for a rosé because uh, when you pick it early you get that lovely acidity it's very high natural acidity um, and the fruit characters that you get you still get that sour cherry that sort of pop um, but you get also a lovely fruit sweetness um, you know strawberries and cream type vibe which really bounces off on the nose especially um, we like to keep the, the ferments quite cool um, across the board with all the wines that we make. Um, so when you're working with wild yeast uh, and you're keeping the ferment cool, it's quite a, a long, slow ferment, but that allows those fruit characters to really come out and and, uh, and lift and, and develop really nicely. So even though it's a dry rosé, you get that lovely fruit sweetness and makes it really approachable. So yeah, strawberries and cream on the nose, that lovely almost unctuous sweetness on the front palate, but then it's nice and dry, it finishes off and you get that herbaceousness, a long length to it. Um, so again, a wine that uh, that is very, very approachable, very, very easy drinking, but it's got layers and depth and intrigue to it. And 